some folks, Shaka. I'm going to share my thoughts with y'all. So as y'all can see, Mike Tyson, he ended up having to play punch out on the plane. But let's go ahead and play the clip. I'm going to let them speak on it a bit. I'll be back. This is Christine Lazar joins us now with video of what went down. Another week, another unruly passenger, but this time he's famous, of course. Uh, and you know he throws a good punch. Oh, so you know that it. had to hurt. <laughs> now, according to TMZ, the incident went down around 10:30 last night as Mike Tyson was slated to fly out of San Francisco International Airport to Florida. A witness on the JetBlue flight says Tyson repeatedly punched a guy in the face after getting annoyed by him. Hey, 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 hey. Hey Mike, Mike, come on. Let's go stop that. The witness said at first Tyson took a selfie with the guy and kept his cool as the man's friend tried to talk to him. But once he had had enough of it, he asked the man to stop. And when the guy didn't, that's when Tyson reportedly started to throw several punches at the man's face before walking off the plane. Now, a photo obtained by TMZ shows the passenger's bloodied forehead. He reportedly received medical attention and went over what happened with the police. So far, there's been no comment on the incident from Tyson's camp or JetBlue. DeMarco, It's almost to you. like he was asking for it. All right, Christine. Yeah, <laughs> the, the earlier video you see, he really doesn't leave him alone. So, not at all. You know, he is a boxer, but still not appropriate behavior. Not at all. All right, Christine, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay, so y'all seen what they were talking about. And pay attention to what she said, because that backs up some of what I'm saying today. Ooh, excuse me. This is actually a good backdrop, this situation, to speak on why. And so that's why I'm getting into it. But pay attention to what she said. Now, she had stated that the guy was wrong, but she still had to throw in there that, you know, Mike Tyson was, it was just unacceptable for him to do what he did to the guy. And, you know, that's a very interesting thing that she said because that's the exact problem right there. And that's why this, this situation transpired, in my opinion. Because these people have this, this belief that they can do whatever to us and they're supposed to be unharmed, period. And I talked to y'all about this with that, that girl. And I said this about this a couple of other times with that Ponsetto thing. This is three times, y'all. Pay attention. You know what I'm saying? But these people had this belief that they can do whatever to us and nothing should happen to them, okay? And it, we're just supposed to find some type of understanding in it, okay? And that's why I, I, I'm speaking on this today because that has a lot to do with how we deal with them people, man. We deal with these other groups of people irresponsibly. And because of that, you know, when you don't have any standards or boundaries or anything like that for yourself when you're dealing with other people, they're not going to really respect you. And what you'll find is that when you're out and about in public and stuff like that, despite them knowing that, you know, they are physically inferior and it can turn into a dangerous situation easily where they're going to probably be the victim <laughs> or the loser uh they will still take these chances all right because they have so it's so tattooed in their mind that we are supposed to be these people that exist on this planet to appease to them it's it's just crazy and when you think about the history of this planet and the history of us like that these people start thinking about this stuff in a couple of hundred years because the honest truth is that's the relationship that we share we still share with them for real the relationship of the middle to late 1800s and we're still moving on with this same thing it's just being redefined but when you go outside and you see situations like this what happened with tyson you know this that's why it happens you know and they don't care who you are that's the reason why you they like showing a lot of these situations over the years where some of these uh rich and famous so-called black people and stuff like that they'll be getting played down or not taken seriously by these other groups of people because this is how they think about us man and and the solution is we got to start dealing with them differently to the point they understand that there are consequences for doing what they do walking up on us playing us like that because one thing that you notice is that they don't play that game with them these other groups of people like that heavy no more okay 
And the reason why is because those other groups of people have figured out how to get up out of that reputation because they're not about to play those games with them, okay? They got bitter, bigger and better things to be worried about and they're not trying to have some old inferior people in their way thinking that they gods or something to the point that they can play these type of games, okay? And so, and that needs to be us. And I don't advocate uh, getting into the punch out physical altercation thing like that every time, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But one thing I will say is that they need to learn that there is consequences for playing games, all right? You dig? I'm going to leave it there. Comment below. Like the information. Hit the sub button and the bell. We drop the shit y'all like. It's your folks. Shock it. I'm out.